I've been wanting to build a flying car since I was like eight or nine years old. I've always been a, been a very big fan of uh, French comics and my big the, the comic book that I really love the most is uh, something called Valerian. And that was so that was a big inspiration for me uh, because in every future timeline, all the future timelines have flying cars. Yes. So that's why that makes me really happy to be able to at least provide a first little step in, in the creation of a flying car with the Jetson 1. Me and the co-founder Thomas Patan, uh, we founded, uh, founded the company in my double garage. Yeah. And then we decided to, uh, to build a, a, a kind of like a big drone where you can actually sit sit in it and fly instead of just remote controlling it. So that was that was the first idea, and it took us, uh, I think, about uh, six months before we had something that actually could fly. It wasn't very pretty. <laughs> it looked a little bit like a like a flying ladder with a with a with a sports seat on top, but it did fly actually. We thought that this was going to be really easy. I mean, Thomas Patton is a is a brilliant engineer, and he. Uh, he has been building drones since the 2008. Uh, but it was much more difficult than we thought. We had all kinds of trouble when it comes to matching the correct motor with the correct propeller, propeller size, propeller inclination, the width of the cables. That we needed really thick cables for this, and we didn't know that from the beginning. For the Jetson 1, we are not aiming to be something that you can use for daily commute in the city or anything like that. The Jetson 1 is like a jet ski. For the skies. It's made to, to so you can have fun. An aircraft of this type, because it doesn't weigh so much, it weighs less than 250 pounds, you don't need a pilot's license to fly it in the United States. But you can't fly it, you can't hop between skyscrapers on Manhattan, you have to, you have to stay out of densely populated areas and also far away from airports. Our mission, long-term goal, is to make big, big, big cities much better places to live in. By 2050, we're going to have 7 billion people on the planet, which is 70% of the people are going to be living in large metropolises. The traffic jams are going to be one of the biggest, biggest challenges. We are removing lots of cars from the streets. The cities are going to be a much greener place. There's lots of a lots of positive things from, uh, from an environment perspective with the revolution and the advent of the flying car. But it's going to take a little bit of time. <laughs>